no, I live in paradise here. Don't tell too many people mine. Show me somewhere better. It's not possible. Love it. I kite surf, which I like, and I've been doing kite surfing now for the last seven or eight years. Before that, I, and I still do windsurf for the last 40 years. And it's lovely, you, you set, set a course, and it's like, uh, I just like flying on a cloud. If heaven's like this, I'd be very happy to go. You're out there and you're just oblivious to, to the problems in life and you can go as far as, as, uh, as little distance as you like. It's just beautiful. It's a different world. And any little problems, any hiccups, they just bypass you. It's just lovely, you know. It's poetry in motion when you're out there. And when I die, and I'm getting near the end of my life, I'm hoping that there's kites up there. Sadly, my uh, wife died 16 and a half years ago. And very quick, all in two days, she had breast cancer and she had one chemo. And on the Saturday lunchtime, we were going to go out and she wasn't very well. And two, within two days, she died. And when I saw that, I thought I would change my life. And I started living life all the time. I spent the first three or four years away nine months a year. I was windsurfing, kiting, skiing, snowboarding. Went all around the world doing these things. And then after about three or four years, the pain is, is going. So you come back and join what one would term a natural life. After I see how my wife left this, this world, I changed my way of thinking. It could be tomorrow I'll be gone. So I live each day to the full. You'll never know when you're gonna go. Although I think I'm healthy, I could be dead tomorrow. Hence why I do all the things I do. I was in, uh, in the Italian lakes about three or four years ago and uh, there was no wind. And I saw, to my belief, a man on, on a windsurfer sculling. I thought, what well, a marvellous idea. There's no wind so he can still get out and do something. And hopefully this is the first time I've tried it and it may work. I'm looking forward to it because today it, there's no wind and it's ideal for what I want to do. And I can get the water where I love and where I go. Being my age, I'm not bothered what people think. I just do what I want to do. And I know very well if they had the guts or the ingenuity, they would also like to be with me. But uh, sadly, a lot of people won't do what I do. God knows why, but there you are. I was on the water a few months ago and uh, I didn't want to stop at all then. And I thought, I just love it. Um, and I thought then I'm going to live another 10 years. And when I tell my friends they don't like that, they think, can't you go before then, Dave? This last, I suppose, 10, 15 years, um, I've slowed down. I don't run like I used to. I can't jump about. I haven't changed my ideas. I'm, I'm principled in how I think about life. Learned a few lessons over the way, but I'm still basically the same person. I'm an old man, but with young thoughts. And, uh, and they're not gonna change. And the day does change, I will, I will die. <laughs>